Hello, Freya. Can I ask your age? Even though I don't really want to, I say that my age is no longer young. I am 44 years old. Yes, a very nice number. Sorry for making you unhappy. It's okay, Adam. It's the truth, and I can't change it. Instead of feeling like I'm older, I love myself more and make life colorful. That is my life motto. I also spend time with relatives and do more good things for the community, which makes me live happier every day. In fact, I used to be a workaholic, to the point that family arguments were because I was too neglectful of family matters. My husband and I were on the verge of divorce. To be more precise, on my 40th birthday, my thinking began to change. I look back at all the problems and see myself as bad. I've been living so wrong all this time. My mother was sick and lost a lot of weight, but I didn't realize it. My son stopped sharing things at school and was distant from me, and I didn't pay attention anymore. Many, many other things changed that I didn't even notice. Am I that bad? Don't be sad, Freya. At least you're a good person now, right? I believe everyone in your family understands and forgives you. Thank you, Adam. So, Freya, can you guess why I asked your age? Uh, um, our topic today must be related to age. Right. As for more details, it's quite difficult for me. That's right. I think this will be an interesting and engaging topic. What is Megan doing at age 43? Uh-huh. It's quite interesting. I think there will be a lot to talk about. But wait, we can probably talk for two days and still can't finish this topic. Do you believe it? That's right, Freya. I mean, we will discuss. What did Megan do at the age of 43 that impacted the fashion industry? I just want to summarize it briefly in one word, disaster. You know, Megan is not beautiful. But in return, she has a dressing sense that ruins even the fashionistas because it's so bad. I just hope to have the most basic knowledge about fashion. I don't need beauty. What I need is neatness and cleanliness. Yeah! She does daily in the what not to wear category, such as don't wear wrinkled clothes. Don't look like a deranged bag lady in a wool coat in summer. Don't have your hair messy. Don't show your birdie legs. Don't dress like SpongeBob SquarePants. I wearing unflattering shapes. Don't wear ripped jeans. You are in your 40s. Don't wear hiking boots on the street. Don't wear tons of bronzer. Don't always have your hands near your face to show jewelry or sanity patches. Don't wear your shoes too big. Don't wear sloppy belted coats. Don't wear wool with white capris pants. Don't show your bunions or hammer toes. And don't copy Megan in anything she does. Oh, the list goes on and on. For a thin gal, she sure looks different from the back. Broad back and huge wide rear. I would do my best to hide that. She's built like a box. Clearly, she clueless how to dress for her figure. Adam, do you mind when I say straightforward things that are a bit delicate? Of course. You just say what you think. And of course, the wearing of proper foundation garments that the bag lady of Montecito seems to not have. There is a horse somewhere growing its mane back. Why can't she purchase and wear proper fitting bras? That is a dress requiring head-to-toe spanks or skims. Yes, I know Megan has no fashion sense. Many times her clothes look like they've been grabbed out of the rag bag. Pants are too long and baggy, wrinkled, forgets to take the tags off, see-through, etc. Inappropriate for the occasion, Megan has shown herself to be a copycat, often copying the styles and color choices of both women, Catherine and Diana. Oftentimes, the styles and colors are not complementary. I'm a man who doesn't know much about fashion, but I can easily notice those issues. You're quite sophisticated. Adam, I feel like Megan is someone who doesn't know how to control herself. A smart person is someone who knows his or her strengths and weaknesses to take the right steps to further develop. Surely this year, 2024, Megan has received many great humiliations. Sierra Pardo the former chief creative officer of Rihanna's Fendi Corporation and the president and founder of Miyoho has made a bold statement by turning down Meghan Markle's endorsement for a place at the 2024 Paris Fashion Week. Pardo! Known for her artistic vision and cultural influence, her decision stems from her disdain for Markle's controversial past and present. 
which she believes have had a detrimental impact on the fashion industry and the world at large. I know, Pardo, this woman is very beautiful, but more important is her strong character, which shows on her face. It is people like this that make Megan humiliated and awaken. Megan is no one if she is not truly talented and influential. Not stopping there, Pardo accused Megan of taking advantage of her royal position and relationships on the yacht for her own purposes and taking advantage of others. The rejection is a blow to Markle, who has been trying to establish herself as a fashion icon and humanitarian after leaving the royal family. It's ridiculous how crazy that is. Not stopping there, Pardo accused Meghan of taking advantage of her royal position and relationships on the yacht for her own purposes and taking advantage of others. The rejection is a blow to Markle, who has been trying to establish herself as a fashion icon and humanitarian after leaving the royal family. Pardo also bluntly told Meghan to stay away from her brand. It's really nice to hear. She deserves to be my idol. Honestly, I know Megan would feel extremely humiliated and angry about being rejected by Pardo. Megan is rumored to seek revenge by hiring a team of lawyers and public relations, experts to launch a smear campaign against Pardo and expose her secrets and scandals. No is said to have contacted influential friends in the fashion industry, such as Anna Winter and Edward Annenfall, in an attempt to blacklist Pardo. What do you think about this clash? Freya? I think we all have an answer in our hearts. Megan is no match for Pardo. Megan needs Pardo, but Pardo doesn't need Megan. Megan no longer has a place in society. Friends will be complicit and will be ostracized if they listen to Megan. And they were all seriously delusional when they thought they could put Pardo on the blacklist. Also this year, Vogue's editor in chief dropped Meghan Markle from the iconic cover, citing, there's no place for her. I absolutely feel this reason is too convincing. She is no one, has no influence, does not transmit positive energy, and even destroys unique designs of famous designers. So what qualifications does she have to appear on the magazine cover? It's clear that what Megan has is going against the demands of fashionistas. Look back at the frumpy outfits when Megan appeared. I can't understand who came up with the idea for those clothes. Whoever it is, it's too bad. That's why YSL CEO Francesca Bellatini banned Meghan Markle from the brand. Well, to put it briefly, I firmly believe that if you don't want your brand to have its reputation, quality, and luxury lowered, it's best to stay away from Meghan. Can you see? Meghan chooses the most expensive clothing styles that rarely flatter her figure. She chose colors that did not flatter her skin tone. Clothes never fit her body properly and often look sloppy, often very messy. She doesn't pay attention to details. How many times has she appeared with a clothing tag dangling from the hem of her pants? <laughs> Megan's latest outfit disaster was in Nigeria. Nigeria's first lady found Megan's outfit choice inappropriate. Her backless and low-cut outfits were too much for a conservative country. So despite spending a six-figure sum on new designer outfits, she appears to have been ill-advised. Also, it seems that Megan has become so proud of herself that she has overestimated her importance, lost her sense of humor, and forgotten that she is just a normal woman who happens to be tracked down a member of the royal family and beat the poor guy until he proposes to her. But aside from the pre-wedding tantrums, being rude and abusive to one of the three-year-old bridesmaids, and even making the three-year-old girl cry. Can someone explain to me how an adult woman, new to her fiancé's family, and likely to marry into that family, still behaves as if she is most important on this planet? Poor Harry! I hope he still has enough strength to protect himself, but I doubt it. That's because she never listens or takes advice from anyone. Bigotry and revenge have destroyed her in her own life and her choice of clothes. As long as she wants, she will do it without listening to anyone. You know, so the one in trouble is her. Inappropriate clothing in Nigeria is a lack of respect for the people and culture here. Don't ask why everyone hates Megan so much. I wonder if we should take Megan as a lesson for ourselves. We should avoid people like Megan in our lives, right? Thank you for Freya's appearance today. Thank you for watching our video.
We will continue to discuss interesting topics in the next videos. Please support us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye and see you again. Goodbye and see you again.